Hello everyone! Welcome to the CSM Report. Random as tangents, 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 tangents. And for today, we're going to talk about our reaction to Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I refuse to contribute. I wasn't allowed alcohol for this. <laughs> now, for those who may not know what Legend of Tomorrow is, uh, I can best explain to you. Now, imagine, you know, you have Arrow. Oh, you only have only one superhero on that show. Well, at least main one. They have the Flash. But see, you have only one superhero there, too. Now, what if, this is a crazy idea, but what if, if you have, like, a bunch of superheroes into one show, and it's in these, uh, the same universe of both Arrow and The Flash, you get Legends of Tomorrow, you get Hot Girl, you get White Canary, really, fucking White Canary, are you fucking serious, The Atom, Firestorm, Heat Wave, and Captain Cold, which I thought they were villains, and... Uh, Rip, uh, the, the Time Hunter, right? Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, and, oh, Firestorm, there you go. <laughs> Firestorm! And they all kind of bend together to go face the evil that is Vendel Savage. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> What can I say? Because I was into this at first. Like I saw the... I, I have been tight with the DC WB universe. Like oh, I enjoy CW it. I, I follow it. <laughs> CW universe. I, I, I'm going to pretend like that's it's not the CW. It's, <laughs> it's... I was into this trailer at first. Like... I've been following all this. Like, I like Arrow, I like The Flash, and all, all of these other characters, for the most part, are actually from these two shows. They, because the, both of them have different characters from the DC Universe that pop in and out, and it's been, that's one of the things that's made these two series so much fun, is all the extended universe stuff that they have integrated into them. And as far I'm not ultra caught up with the uh, arrow yet, but White Canary was the Black Canary, and then she died in season three. Spoilers, Nick. Uh, spoilers, she's coming back. Oh, I I never saw that coming. Oh, oh. <laughs> she only died like twice already. <laughs> everybody, everybody dies in Arrow. Everybody comes back. Don't worry. It's like the DC universe. <laughs> we kill somebody, they're gonna bring them back. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, it's DC. Like, and they supposedly killed her for the last time in the third one. And like, don't no, she's buried this time. Yeah, it's just like, and everyone's avenging her. And there's and look, about she's and like, back. Oh, imagine that. As White Canary, seriously, fucking White <coughs> Canary. Yeah, and they got a lot of other stuff, and because they have uh, Speedy and the Arrow too, which. I like how they do that stuff. You've seen it. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I, I'll get to my opinions. But... but continue yeah. yours. Like, I was into this. and like, yeah, these characters... Like, I don't get why they have Captain Cold and, and Heat, Heat Wave. Wave. And I really don't get why they have Heat Wave and Firestorm at the same time. I don't get why Captain Heat Cold... Heat Wave is <laughs> such a minor character. And then they... He's essentially the same thing as Captain Cold, just a fire version. And then they put Heat Wave, who is the same power, except he's like two people that are fusing together and their atoms together make them super heat into a. Con it's a long thing. But. You don't say. Tell me more. I like how that's. But that's. Um, that's the Flash. And most of these are from the Flash, and they're a lot better done in the flash than arrow yeah, yeah. <laughs> arrow's go. better there I mean, tear that band-aid off go see the arrow before well you have to watch you mean the flash is better than yeah. arrow 
you know, tear that band-aid off. The Flash is better than Arrow. You have to watch Arrow first because otherwise how the... Because the two shows mix up so much, Flash doesn't make sense until you've at least seen the second season of Arrow. That's dumb. I agree. <laughs> but they're, they're both kind of like heavily tied in together and like you... The, Air, the Flash pops up in the first season of Arrow or in the second season of Arrow yeah. before he even becomes the Flash. That's like the biggest tease of all time. It's like you give me like this this, yeah, this so it's, tub of a cock and now you're not going to give me my, my full of Reese? Fuck you. Yeah, except um, Hawk Girl and Doctor Who. They are... Uh, <laughs> Doctor They are... Well, Whirly 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 Williams kind, sir. I haven't seen either of these in the series. I'm not fully caught up with them, but I'm in the current seasons. And but I was into that. Like, okay, they're all bonding together to uh, fight this thing, and like, okay, I can get over Doctor Who. Well, to be kind of fair, would they rip uh, the Time Hunter? I guess whatever (laughs) his name is, but you know, his mind will be the Doctor. Yeah. and, like okay, he's a plot device. I can live with that. I've seen worse than Arrow. So. And, and you know, and I would say at least for him, it's like okay, <coughs> it's like he's coming in with this show and doesn't look like he's been introduced in like any of the other shows. That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. I don't know about Hawk Girl, but I, at least I can save the most for at least Rip the the Time Hunter. Yeah, like uh, the Adam. He's actually in season three of the Arrow, and I almost called Christian up as soon as I saw him. Like Christian. Super. The arrow has its own Iron Man. <laughs> now he's Ant Man. <laughs> he's like Iron Man and Ant Man at the same time, and like um, which, yeah, but uh, eh, eh. <laughs> like I was into it, and then it, <laughs> you, it you and think. then Christian said, "Sit down." It continues, and. Yeah, I think the part you said, like, you know, sit down, continue to be... It, 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 when you like, going like, ah, oh, it's one part, like, no, you're legends. <laughs> yeah, that's where it pretty much turned. And then, oh, you, you, you turn small. <laughs> and then you see, uh, <laughs> then you see Superman as the Adam turn small. And it's comical. <laughs> This is not Disney effects. <laughs> this is no Marvel. <laughs> Why? He was a cool character until he shrunk. <laughs> like up until that point, he was a cool character, and he is essentially Iron Man, except he wasn't a pain in the ass asshole. <laughs> He's a multi-millionaire who developed a suit to hunt the Arrow because he didn't like what the Arrow was doing, being all vigilante. You know, at this point, I think think nobody likes Arrow. Yeah, (laughs) after season, well, I mean, (coughs) to be kind of fair, like the reputation of the fact when you kill fucking people, yeah, I think people are not going to like you that fucking much. Yeah. So, there's a... He was a light... The thing is, he had a nice, positive personality. He had a progressive, upbeat personality. And I liked him, and he still has that. And then he had to shrink. And now... Yeah. So, yeah, the, uh, now I should tell about, like, my point of view of this whole universe. Everybody knows my dislike for Arrow Season 1. Like, goddamn, I, I cannot stand Season 1. I, I think it's just the most... It's a poorly excuse for a superhero show. It's not even a superhero show. It's, it's like... it's a, I call it trash. It's trash. Let's be honest. It's Batman wannabe. Shit. <laughs> and, well, and I like it, too. That's that's coming from someone that likes it. Season two is a lot better, and it's like wow, you know, it actually improved a lot of things. Like how keep on saying, 
Daredevil did a whole lot better. A whole lot better. <clears throat> if it does not, if it not is not nominated an Emmy, I'll be shocked. <laughs> but continue on. I have not seen the Flash TV show. I really want to because, uh, like the Flash is is one of my favorite characters that I I you know one of my favorite series I really like to read, and I like to see it put on screen. You know, yeah. It's like okay. And now they come with the Legend of Tomorrow. I'm like, okay, you know what? The concept actually looks pretty cool. You got like these bunch of superheroes, you know, into one group. I'm like, okay, you know what? That's cool. You're doing like your own little Avengers thing for television. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know what? I bet this could be cool, even with the little shoddy special effects. <laughs> 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 I could have done it. But then they had to jump the shark. I mean that that's kinda of what the Adam is basically. Like he can shrink down like he that he's he is pretty much Ant Man, but I wanna say that the Adam came first and then Ant Man you know, <coughs> the Marvel, you know, Ant-Man. But except, like, they, you know, kind of different and whatnot. Well, technically, in this aspect, they they did that first, too. Yeah, the but... The Adam he, was started, like, sometime earlier this year. And, except he was more of an Iron Man character. He's in the suit, and he's got jets and everything, and... See, and, I, I'm not gonna lie... Everything you say about that, like, oh, he's, like, kind of Iron Man. Like, yeah. But see, he's supposed to be the Atom. It's, that's the one thing I can say I I hate with the whole CW thing, what they do. It's like, oh, we're going to... The, the, the sister character of uh, of Ollie, yeah, he's going to call her Speedy. But wait, we already have this other character who's pretty much... It, it's Speedy, but we're not going to call him Speedy. He's going to be named Arsenal. <clears throat> It's, it's like, what the fuck? Are you serious? You know, then why we have this fucking sister character and we're gonna re we have the real fucking Speedy? They've been doing that. It's like... Well, they only just started calling him the Green Arrow in the third season anyway, so... You know, I, I would say with that, with the whole kind of hood thing, I'm like, you know what? It's a whole start thing. I I don't care. Whatever. But it's shit that, that kind of get my nerves. And I know it's like the most smallest thing, but it's like, you you have like this, you have the original Speedy here. Why the fuck, you know, call him fucking Speedy? But instead yeah, you I've call been waiting him... for that for quite a while, actually. And <laughs> yeah, they still, at least what I've seen, they still haven't started calling him Speedy yet. Because he's, he's got the full uniform now. He's a full part of the team. Everything's all together, like, and he's still not Speedy yet, so... And it, it that, that it's go for for fucking everything. You have oh fuck, I forgot her name. Uh, well, I guess in now she's the new Black Canary. No, she's the she's the old Black Canary. No, 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 she's, no. Now, now what, she's the now, White Canary. No, no, not White Canary. I meant like the new Black Canary. I forgot her name. Uh, the sister to White Canary. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, is. His old love interest, sort of, because apparently he's like fucking everyone in that in the past. Like, oh, the flashbacks keep making the era worse. They really uh, do. <laughs> Enough flashbacks. But yeah, like okay, with her, like she's supposed to be the Black Canary, but instead she's fucking Lois Lane. Okay, well not Lois Lane, but but she pretty much a, a fucking lawyer. It's like, oh, okay. But then the sister, she's the black canary. Oh no, now she's the white canary. Make up your fucking mind, Arrow. It's either you go this way or <coughs> that way. Start like Starling City. Okay, how much you want to fucking bet the the next couple of seasons? Now we should call it Star City. Fuck! Make up your goddamn mind. It's either you have this or this. You don't. Ha you, you don't. Yeah, I like the concept at first where he starts out. 
but then he become takes on on this new persona that's identified to him but like the the names are all over the place and like and look, that's the one thing the flash gets better because they're like they got the one guy and he dubs everyone's name and that's it <laughs> that's all you fucking need they, you got one little nerd that says ooh I'm gonna call you Captain Cole like I like that yeah that works you know, when you just say that right now, I have a big old <coughs> smile on face. Fucking it. It'll just, 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 and I swear that, you know, that Razal Ghoul, that's not Razal Ghoul. That's, that's some cheap fucking knockoff. <laughs> you know what? This is a real asshole Ghoul, but he's a brother. <laughs> but he's the real thing. He has all the fucking origin that ties him in, but he's not a Razal Ghoul. He's Bob Al Ghoul. <laughs> oh, fucking arrow. Um, that hasn't happened. They Yet, show, but they want to make. Here's a spoiler for everyone. Raz Al Ghul wants to make the arrow the Raz Al Ghul. Yeah, feel it, feel it, Christian. That's fucking retarded. <laughs> and you like this show? That's one of the better parts of it. You people, I told you, once Black Canary died, and like... Do you people like this show? Wow. You know, I... We're... I mean, I'm living in a <coughs> world where Honey Boo Boo is like the most popular thing. I'm in a world where Dog Dynasty is... Like, the the shit. I'm in a world where apparently Raz al Ghul named fucking Oliver Queen the B-list to fucking Batman to be the next Raz al Ghul? You're fucking with me, aren't you? <laughs> well, yes. and I like Green Arrow, but... Give me a fucking break. Oh, you should see how his daughter, not Talia, because he, he has a daughter, and guess what? It's not Talia. I mean... It's not. To be kind of fair... And she's a lesbian. Oh, yeah, I see Who's her. into the Black Canary. Oh, yeah, I know. I saw the episode. I guess that was kind of a nice episode. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they, they, they... Blind Squirrel finds it up. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, I got names. No, not Talia. You know what? They, and they're gonna do that too. I mean, I mean, I mean, guess to be kind of fair, there is actually like in, uh, like another Reservoir Dot, I want to say, because they actually do have that. Yeah, but, and the they comics. go with her, and yeah, they go with her, and not Talia, so for. Whatever fucking reason. I so I'm like, think. okay. So I'm like, okay. Well, at least that's kind of fair. Oh God. So, so, so Oliver Queen, Oliver Queen is the next Raz Al Ghul. He's not officially like Raz Al Ghul wants him to be the successor, and he's like put this death threat be the next Raz al Ghul or like I'm gonna destroy the city or something like that whatever. so so pretty much like you know like Raz al Ghul like well me or here I mean sh I mean you're just right over here I could get Batman but you know it's kind of a pain in the ass at this point you're eh, is that kind of it please that has it because then uh, that would make it all the worse better <laughs> I don't think Batman's in this universe or Superman. But I, I like him Superman and Supergirl staying way, way over on NBC. See Black Adult Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, are, uh, Nick, each time like I I'm sorry, he's a like ginger I ginger boy and like I'm, I'm okay with like race crossing, but like they, they I, might as well have made him a woman too. On top of that, Nick, you—I know you're saying all these things, but I, 
of Raz al Ghul picking Oliver Queen. It's like, it's. Yep. It's. Yep. You know, I, I. Well, for the record, I mean, this Oliver Queen is essentially. Is essentially Batman. But see, you know what the difference is between Oliver Queen and Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne's smart. Yes, he, he. You know, they. He's like Bruce Wayne's responsible. <laughs> yes, and you know Bruce what? Bruce Wayne's dependable. He he, known as the world's greatest detective, Nick. You know, Razo Cool calls him detective. He calls him detective because that's what he seems as. Oliver Queen is not the smartest person in the fucking bunch. He has a boxing glove for a fucking arrow. <laughs> You're looking at me like, well, uh, uh, <laughs> look, I, I'm not arguing with you. This, this is, is fucking stupid. Everything you tell me with this, like, wow, really? Like, Jesus, eat, like, man. Well, he's already started assembling his own super friends. He's got uh, Speedy, uh, two black canaries, and I think no, no, no. Got... One of them is white canary now. Yeah, <laughs> of course. And then he's got apparently what is now the Atom. So, like, yeah, they've been doing this throughout all of season three. Do I have to like sniff like paint been... in order to get to the level that you are, Nick? Do in order to like somehow some. Finds I'm gonna join it. Do I have to? Glue works better. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I know I should move past this point, but the fact like Razal Ghul wants Oliver Queen to be the next Razal Ghul. You know how fucking retarded that sounds. Not as much as you do, apparently. <laughs> it's okay. So yeah, uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. Um. Uh, this is not actually. I'm letting you know this, Nick, right now. You know who? You know who's the creator of this show? Is the same person who wrote fucking Green Air, Green Lantern. You're kidding. Does look like I'm fucking kidding. So yes, there you go, people. That's your. That's that is your Josh Whedon, the man who wrote Green Lantern with Ryan Reynolds. Fucking ass clowns, all of you. God, who fucking? Oh my god. Legend of Tomorrow, like it. There's something about it that looks good. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw, uh, I just, I just kind of come. Turn, like I just realized, like, oh wait, Rory is a time traveler. Uh, where him and other time masters. He's do- like he's the doctor from Doctor Who. Stop! God damn it, DC. God damn it, CW. I mean, although that'd be a really awesome concept, Doctor. And oh, okay, maybe not Arrow, but at least Legend of Tomorrow. I mean, that'd be that would be kind of cool. I guess. <laughs> to check if I was they lying. They had me. <laughs> no, was- but yeah, like. Nick, I'm actually say they can have that they have you. I'm like, okay, you know what? I mean, I did. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I I really did kind of expected like that that kind of quality of like effects on that kind of show. I'm like, okay, you know what? Cause I know, like, I mean, I know who um uh, Mark Guggenheim is, but the fact I have seen Green Lantern and Arrow, so I'm like, okay. I have a pretty good understanding of what he think he could do with whatever, sorry, or whatever fucking budget he has, and he wants to make this like you know he want to build this up to like Avengers type of uh thing. The only problem with that is like yeah, well, I mean, not really. Probably it's like okay, you want to do this with it. Now you want to shrink the atom to small size. Of course, it's gonna look hokey as shit. There's no way around that whatsoever. They were very careful with uh, Ant Man with how they presented that to keep it from being stupid. And you know what? That movie, like Ant Man itself, is say, "Hey, you know what? It 
It like even the uh, Paul Rudd knows a dumb name. It's like yeah, I didn't chose this name. <laughs> and you know what? It's you know, from what I heard, that's a pretty good and cool movie. Adam, you know, you know, Arrow and Flash don't they have the luxury? They don't. <laughs> they, they, they don't have that kind of Josh Whedon kind of like architecture. Or even like a J. J. Abrams architecture where, you know, that, yeah, you know, these writers, like, they want to go beyond that and they know the smart to do it. But at the same time, you know, they're going to get to the ending where it's like, oh, wait, we don't really have an ending. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> All you have is like, that's the best way to describe it. For every Josh Whedon, Josh Whedon is the Batman or he's Superman. Mark Guggenheim and the rest of them, they're the, they're pretty much the, the Oliver Queens, they're the Green Arrows, and, well, they could do the best they have, but whatever they have, it's not going to work and it's going to flop big time. The only way you can make this work is you at least have some kind of really good writer to do it. They don't have that. Flash has some good writers. You know, at this point, I'm saying, you know what? I I think the Flash is just like that happy accident that came along. Probably. I think it's because the Flash doesn't take the same dark tone. He has... It, he, That's the true. Flash has what you wanted from Arrow. It has that goofy hero character. It's got all the personality and charm that you want. So Nick, what you're saying when like with So what you're saying is if I want like a good, goofy, fun superhero show, I need to watch the Flash. But I don't want to watch the Flash, I gotta watch Arrow. A dark, greedy, trying to take itself seriously show that where it's based around a character who's you know, literally ripping off Batman because it has the aeroplane, it has the arrow car. And also, the, the most biggest fact that everybody can remember this, he has a boxing glove, Arrow. Well, in the defense, he has none of those things in the show. But they, you know, still. And, and, and I think that the worst thing that kind of came to this is is the the whole thing with from the whole of him just being just a hood, like this vigilante uh, architecture where he just kills people to up to, I guess, now from season three. It's based around um, fucking Mike Grill, like, storyline of Arrow where he was, you know, he pretty much take the whole character as serious as it could be. Like, you know, take... Take away the arrow, like uh, the, the, the the boxing glove there. Take away the, the aeroplane. Make this a much serious and grounded character. And for that, from what I know, it worked perfectly fine. And it, it was probably one of the best runs of Green Arrow. Over here, doesn't work. It does not work fucking at all. And I think what with this series is, is they were trying to make the DC universe, but they couldn't get the license for Batman, Superman, yada, yada, yada. Those were all too far out of reach. So they're just doing these, the other characters to compensate. So they're basically trying to copy other shit using the other shit that's already copied. They're trying to piggyback off other people's success and do the same thing using existing material. And even then... They're making Bat Batman out of the arrow. I have no idea what they're doing with Flash. I'm not a Flash guy, but he's a... You he's know what? If from, from everything you tell me... From, from everything you tell me from the Flash, they're making Flash into the Flash. That's yeah. what they're doing because... Seriously, when you think about the Flash villains, you have Captain Cold, Captain Boomerang, uh, the Trickster. When you have... It, oh, I love the Trickster episode. Oh, my God. 
I, Mark Hamill as the trickster. He he reprised his role. From within, well, the first Flash show. <laughs> he is essentially the Joker, except oh my, no he, I I can't tell you how you have to watch the trickster. I loved it. See. Oh. Everything you say to me about Flash is like, I'm really, really, I'm really want to watch the Flash over Arrow. I really want to, Nick. I, I swear, I think we, I think we talk about more of the Arrow than we actually did Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'll cut it out. I mean, you're the one that just got stuck on. That. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm good, and. Yeah, we talk about Jesus, but yeah, God. I I still I have no clue reason. Like at least Flash, everything you're saying about Nick about Flash is like okay, you know what? That sounds a much better show than Arrow does. It is. It's much better show. Like no arguments. Legends of Tomorrow, like it's the only like okay it's pretty much gonna be like it's own Justice League of a show it's like oh yeah. you're gonna have all these characters it's gonna be the Justice League the only thing about it is we cannot call it Justice League well then we're gonna call it Legends of Tomorrow because well Warner Brothers are gonna make a movie called Justice League <laughs> and we don't need that <laughs> yeah and who are they gonna why fight? not call them the Super Friends fuck it see when you say it Nick it makes it sound fun Apparently, you see that's don't... something you would get out of uh, the Flash. Like I said, everything is like you can just get that one nerdy guy say, "Well, you're all friends and you're all superheroes, super friends," <laughs> and like just how uh, fine, whatever. <laughs> they see they could wander into that. Like that would work. I still, still gotta say, Captain Cold and Heat Wave. I, I say to myself like. Aren't there like villains, and they're like the Flash villain? Yep. So I mean, they've done crossovers, so. Okay, so. Yeah. So how that was gonna work out? Like I, I'm sorry. Well, I, the last time I saw them try to help out is uh, the uh, Flash and uh, Arrow. They ended up releasing all of the super f- humans that w- the Flash had caught. So. So, they're still villains? Last I saw, yeah, they tried to make him uh, help out his heroes, and then they completely fucked it up and double crossed him, like, oh, well, really? Ah, well, okay. Completely saw that coming, but why not? Like, and then, oh, no, but they're they're going to do it again, like. Oh, uh, okay. It doesn't make much sense, but. Okay, they're you know gonna be whatever. Hot girl, ah, you know I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of interested in what they're gonna do because I want to tie this into the show where I think people should watch it because apparently you know everybody likes Arrow, even though you know yeah, there are things about it not should, people should like about, but hey, why not? Should watch Smallville. Because they actually did, like, a really good episode where, like, you have, like, well, pretty much the Justice Society and also the Justice League. Well, at least their kind of version of the Justice League well, uh, is in Smallville. And it was a it was a really good team-up. And they have, like, Hawkman. And he looked really, really good. Like, okay, you know what? For, for what a budget they have on that show, they're able to know how to use it. And they use it really well. You know, same thing with Dr. Fate. Like, Dr. Fate could look fucking stupid. They somehow made it into, like, okay, you know what? You made this practical and look pretty good for what you've done. Smallville, it has its problems. It has its problems. But it knew what it had. And it said, we're going to work on this. And they made it. There's some parts, like, it's kind of dumb in story's sake, but everything else like okay you know what you did something really good here and that actually is really good all I'm just saying is I'm kind of curious to do with Hawk Girl 
but the way we saw the atom, well, I don't think it might be good. It might be. You know what I saw there with like a with Rip the Time Master Time Hunt. I don't know anymore. Okay, he might look. He might Doctor be good. Who. See, it, it's the Doctor Nick. Just say the Doctor. <laughs> Doctor Who is the fucking show. It's a pun on the name. <laughs> Like, when they say doctor, doctor who? <laughs> but, uh, but yes, the doctor, which is Rorley Williams, which I gotta say is like, you're, you're playing the doctor. Stop kidding yourself. And they say, you know, you're saying Time Master, it might be Time Lords. Yeah, it might as well be that way. You have a time machine. Oh, well, I mean, it's not bigger in the inside than it is the outside. It's practically the same size. But hey, you know what? It is a fucking time machine. Might as well be a fucking TARDIS. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else to say. Well, for I know, like, both Arrow and The Flash, they're just going to be in there as his guest appearance. And, like, er, like you, from the Atom to um, Rip the Time Hunter, they're all going to be in there. And that's the Dasher team. So he's going to be part of the team. Yep. Can't he just be like a temporary plot convenience? No. <laughs> Nick. No. I mean, you know, for anything, like, maybe they would change it up. It's like, you know what? Maybe he's a temporary team for now, and they might actually change it to something else. So they're going to have Arrow and... Yeah, because that's not what's made clear in the trailer. Like, uh, what are they going to do with these two other shows? And, like, are they going to just fuse them? Or... And well, why would you have the Arrow and the Flash come together to create this team and then take off? Because it's not their problem, Nick. <laughs> it's... It, it just... It just like when you have a... <laughs> <laughs> you know, when someone telling you the problems, you're like, don't tell me about your problems. <laughs> that's what, that's what's happening right now, Nick. Remember, this is your, this is their universe that you like. I did. <laughs> well, it's nothing to do but wait and see what happens at this point. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I don't have to worry about keeping up with that shit on Hulu anyway now so <laughs> I was enjoying The Flash you can still enjoy The Flash Nick <laughs> not after this I won't <laughs> Nick that's their problem The Flash had nothing to do with that and oh ooh. you know what else what Jay Garrick the, the, the very first Flash is gonna be with the, the Barney Flash Huh. <laughs> I got a little rise. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Fucking rise up. Oh, bullshit. I'm not. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Um. So closing um statements. Um. Nick, you go first. High hopes, low expectations. Uh, well, from what I heard from Arrow all this fucking time, but where apparently Ra's al Ghul is picking Oliver Queen to be the new Ra's al Ghul. Uh, and from what, I, from what I heard, from at least from The Flash, it sounds a hundred times better than Arrow. And these are the same people that have given you all of this and is going to bring you Legends of Tomorrow. The only expectation I have is just the fact, like, I'm hoping that it actually might be good. A don't do like a full like twenty episode series, because if you do a full twenty episode series, where the fuck are you gonna go with it? I mean, I'm sorry, people, but I. 
After everything Nick had told me about season 3 of Arrow, I just have very low expectation with Arrow. I have only high hopes with Flash because Flash... All I told you was... I know. The Arrow was going to be the new Raz Al... Or was selected to be the new Raz Al Ghul. Flash, I heard, is pretty good. <laughs> All I can say is this: if you want, if you want better quality show of what Arrow could be, watch Daredevil. Yeah, don't don't miss Daredevil. Don't be a Mike. Don't be a hipster. <laughs> or if anything, you know what? Or if you want just like probably like eight better creative shows that have been on. Just go and just buy Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, Justice League, both Season 1 and Season 2, Justice League Unlimited, both Season 1 and Season 2, Young Justice, Batman Brave and the Bold. I think that's about it. Just uh, watch those for actually good fucking things because Jesus fucking Christ, Raz al Ghul pick Oliver Queen, the man with a boxing glove, to be the next Raz al Ghul. Way to go there, genius! Way to go! <laughs> Fucking idiots. And it's just the plot convenience of third season. It's, it's, it, the, the, it's just so that they can make trouble with uh, the League of Shadows and the Arrow. So to finish this off, people, you know, you should click subscribe. Did you do that? We probably feel way better than Arrow. <laughs> you can watch my Slender vlogs. It's much better than Arrow. It's funnier. Hey, I'll check out my and Mike's series, Greetings from Florida, just down in the previous videos. You know really what? Like yeah, check out Stuff It. Stuff It is so much better. It's funny, and you get us you, you get us our pretty faces. You, you get to watch me uh, choke on my own food. Yeah. See, there you go. And you know, you get Dr. Netflix to get me in a, in a lovely voice of my beautiful girlfriend. You know, you get that. And don't forget, like, we have the comment pod. Oh, yeah. We, we have the comment pod. Yeah, right? see, yeah. We, get, we have the comment box right at the bottom down there. Like, why don't you go ahead and talk to us? We're just sitting here. We're all lonely. All night. Nick, stop. Why don't me? you start a chat? Stop giving me the bad touch. Don't finger my bottom. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, Christian. Stop it. These people don't realize how often I molest you. <laughs> Day and night, Nick. You might as well be my second wife. <laughs> and I just realized who will be the top and who will be the bottom. I mean, I would really like alternate, but... um. Christian, you know how many times I've debagged you. Do you really need that to be told? Nick, I, I can carry you. You can carry me, but I can still bend your sorry ass over and, well. I would just hit on you. Hey, you you want to <laughs> ride me, <laughs> Go cowgirl, I guess. <laughs> you would taste my asshole. You a tasty black cord. <laughs> oh, I know we're going <laughs> with this. <laughs> wow, that just took a really homoerotic turn, didn't it? It was just by <laughs> sign off. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. <laughs>